Welcome to Honest Whispers Unboxing and Inspection. On this video I'll be unboxing Batman the Animated Series, The Joker Art Effects Plus 110 Scale Statue. Released by Kotobukiya on August 2018, based on the design by Bruce Tim, sculpted by MIC and Yoshiki Fujimoto. This is the collector grade that I pre-ordered from Big Bad Toy Store. Got it not long ago through my pile of loot. And right now it's bought it for it's $59.99 retail. So just the retail price. I bought it at Big Bad Toy Store for $54.99. And for the collector's grade, depending on if it's available or not, it's four dollars more. And of course I don't want to cut the box by accident by cutting in too deep so what I do is I'll kind of tilt it to the side a little bit in an angle that way I know for a fact that it's not gonna cut through the middle and not only do they box the collector crate but they also bag it as well and the collector grade supposed to be at a C9 or better so basically near mint or mint so just from initial glance and inspection the box itself is pretty much I mean there's no dents or anything so definitely looks good now from here I just wanna get into the tape I just rip through the child warning label basically saying that the bag can suffocate children and then with this I'll just go ahead and um, on the folded side So a box is just like Harley Quinn's artifacts. Very nice box. It's not numbered, but it is factory sealed on the bottom just once. Factory sealed on the top three times. Uh, looking at it from the reflection of the light, there are some indented lines. Uh, but as far as collector, I mean, it's, it's good enough here for me so and with this I want to try to peel this out so what I'll do is I just put the blade right between the tape and the box without scratching the box pull it out enough so that I can grab onto it and once I do I'm just gonna peel it out little by little And I don't want to just pull it really fast or hard because good chance you might rip uh, the paper or even leave a lot of residue from the adhesiveness from the tape. So what I'll do is once I do that and from here rather than pulling straight down you might rip the paper from the edge. So I just go from the angle on the side and then I'll just just like before I do it very slowly and then I'll start looping around because I want to stay away from the edge when I'm peeling this tape because I don't want to rip the paper so little by little there it is I don't see too much residue or any at all if there is, I'll just go ahead and dab it like that. And be careful because some paper are weak and you might rip that out. Now for the side, I'm just going to make slits and then later on, I'll peel the tape out alone. And I'll just puncture it a little bit. Make it very soft in 
incisions because I don't want to press too hard and start cutting into the box. So for me, all I want to do is surgically cut the tape. So once I get that done, I want to try to see if the side is, yeah, great. The side did pop out, so I don't have to pull from the middle. Very nicely packaged. So just like Harley Quinn, it comes with a little uh, cardboard box where you could put all the accessories in and nice marketing little, you know, <laughs> strategy here where they mix parts with Harley Quinn and basically put some of her accessories and extra parts in here and in Harley Quinn you have a couple of Joker's face and a an alternate arm so that's pretty cool it comes with the gun it looks like um, the alternate arm would be where you can hold it and then the base is in the back so this one it is factory sealed just with regular tape but then it's on the side so what I want to try to do Well, at least on this side it's plastic, so I don't have to worry about paper ripping or anything like that. But it does leave a lot of residue. So this one definitely later on, like that, that almost pretty much peeled the whole thing out. When I have the time, I just go ahead and uh dab this out later because I'm kind of OCD and then basically I like everything nice and smooth so you could see a little bit of the resin just kind of popping out there just by dabbing it over and over this one I can't get the angle here it's like they got the edge so I don't know. Turn this around, start from here. Okay, looks like I have enough now. And what I'll do is just like before. Once I have enough, I'm gonna start pulling it out and then I'm gonna make sure I get all of the tape too, because sometimes when you go in an angle especially where the tape was cut it ends up splitting in half and then you leave like a little piece there all right two more now i could use the zacto knife but i don't want to do that and end up like cutting the plastic or anything like that and for me just peeling the tape out like this and later on dabbing the residue out for me, it's just a lot cleaner than having cut tape left there. So this right here. I, I start with the finger now, and then once I have enough, I could just use the finger to rub it out. And once I rub that part out, there's enough for me to just grab. And once I could pinch the little edge that I can grab onto, I'll start pulling little by little. Uh, this would be an example where I turn too fast and then basically I left a little corner there. So there's a little piece of tape right there that I left, which I'll go ahead and peel out later. So this thing. I'm going to pop 
these out in the corner and if I can't I just press my thumb in there and slide through the wedge that way I'm not pulling too hard and flinging the top out and there it is so very cool just like Harley Quinn we have this set up like this You better look at the face. A lot of the painting and stuff uh, looks. I mean, the eyes, all the lines, very sharp, very accurate. Uh, it's so good, such good quality. Sorry, I didn't mean to have it off center. It's a lot of good details, just like the way it looks in the animation. It's literally like 2D come to life, basically. Alright, so I do want to examine the statue itself. Uh, the Harley that I got before did have, and this is the cardboard box where you could put the accessories very cool first figure I've seen where it has a little container for all the little accessories that come with a nice little metallic base because this figure is made out of PVC ABS and magnets so on the bottom of his feet are magnets Let me take this out. His arm's a little loose here. It comes out nicely. It's, and of course the other arm is in Harley. So let me press that in. So the seam line's pretty well covered. And with that, let me go ahead and center this. It's very cool. Looks like she's supposed to be holding a cane. I don't see a cane here. Let me see in the box. Oh, it looks like the gun. Rather than holding his gun, he's supposed to have the gun standing. So looking at this, I don't see any flaws. Let me make a turn. No cracks or anything. On Harley Quinn, there was a crack on the back of her neck so pretty disappointed I will be contacting customer service of Big Bad Toy Store so hopefully I could get that exchanged and this just looking at the details the smile the face everything looks awesome even the lips the way they drew the the paint, the painting, the lines, it's so clean and accurate. His tie, suit, everything, it just looks like it's literally from the animated TV show. Very happy with this. I just hope that I could get Harley Quinn basically replaced. And definitely something I would recommend. My favorite ad adaptation, depiction, or version of Joker, or at least one of my favorite, is this one. Designed by Bruce Tim. And even the flower right there. Nice details. Well, there you have it. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Continue eating your vitamin C's and read the King James Version Bible.